I don't know. Oh, do you need an agenda? You guys ready over there? Okay. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to call the uh, uh, the Human Services Committee meeting to order. Uh, under the authority of the county board rules, I appoint member you nope. just. <laughs> Sorry, member you. Sorry, member you. Uh, please call the roll. Okay, Chair Swarzy. Here. Member Childress. Yes. Member Garcia. Member Desart. Here. Member Glassy. Member Laplante. Here. Okay. Do we have any public comment? No public comment. I do not have any comments either. I will take uh, a motion to approve the uh, minutes of Second. our last meeting, item 240846, the Human Services Committee regular meeting from February 2024. Second. You move. You move. So moved. Okay. Any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. I will take a motion to approve item HSR 1024, authorizing execution of intergovernmental agreement between Pace Suburban so Bus moved. and DuPage County Second. Community Services for paratransit service in the amount of $657,200 for fiscal year 24. We had a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. I'll take a motion to approve item HSP 1524, awarding resolution issued to Comcast Cable Communications Management, LLC, doing business as Effect so TV to provide a call 211 of DuPage local advertising campaign for community awareness Second. from March 12, 24 through June 30th of 24 for a contract total amount not to exceed $130,000. We had a motion to second. Any questions or comments from the committee? I was going to ask Gina to come up and talk about that a little bit. So we went out to bid, as I talked about, I think two weeks ago when we were here, um, went out to bid and um, Comcast came back with a proposal to do streaming of video uh, advertisement and we will be reaching um, viewers throughout DuPage County. And this is anyone who's pulling up video on YouTube, um, various streaming services, like net, through net, any, of, any of those, <laughs> all of those, everything. So um, if they're um, ch channeling anything um, that is streaming through Comcast and other, provi other providers, right? Yes. So they will be seeing ads. Primarily Comcast. Primarily right. Comcast, but they'll be, it'll, they'll be seeing our ad for 211 DuPage. And um, we are hoping to increase um, our call volume as well as getting the word out that we are starting texting <laughs> April 1st. So our residents will be able to text us um, and get information. So this is a great, um, great money from the state of Illinois and that is supporting this. So this is not our money. This is the 211 grant from the state. That's great. Any questions for Gina and or Joan? Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is great. <clears throat> On to the DuPage Care Center. I'll take a motion to approve. Oh, thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. I'll take a motion to approve item 240847, a recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to Red Sale Technologies, LLC, for software and software maintenance for the data system in the pharmacy department for the period May 1st, 24 through April 30th, 25, for a total contract amount not to exceed $17,000. We had a motion. And do we get a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 That's a roll call. Oh, roll call, please. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Member Childress. Yes. Member Garcia. Member Desert. Aye. Member Glassy. Member LaQuinn. Chair Swarzy. Aye. Thank you. Thanks for the reminder. I'll take a motion to approve item 240848, a recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to Edward Don and Company for Cambro meal tray carts for the DuPage Care Center dining so services for the period March 6, 24 through November 30th of 24 for a contract total amount not to exceed $28,481.57. We had a motion. Second. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Member Childress? Yes. Member Garcia? Member Desart? Aye. Member Golassi? Member LaPlante? Aye. Chair Swarzy? Aye. 
On the budget transfers, I'll take a motion to approve item 240849, a budget transfer to transfer funds from equipment and machinery, $2,843 from account 1200-2025-54110 and $4,481 from account 1200-2100-54110 to the furniture, machinery, equipment, small value account. 1200 2025 or three of the eight delivery carts that were previously budget, budgeted to the capital so, line and being moved to the correct line to accommodate quote coming in less than budgeted or total amount of seven thousand three hundred twenty-four dollars for dining services fiscal year 24. for the record member glassy arrived thank you um some moved. Moved. Second. Moved second. no you did Childress and then start okay questions or comments all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. All right. Residency waivers. Uh, we do have one. So, Janelle, I'll turn this over to you. Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. We uh, currently have eight male beds and six female beds available at the care center. So, there would be no DuPage County residents that we would be displaced by this applicant. We have an applicant for a 91 year old female. Um, there is family that has lived in DuPage County uh, for quite some time, and the applicant now needs a higher level of care, and the family would like uh, their loved one placed at the care center to be closer to their home. So I'd like to make a motion to approve this person. Second. All right, for the member, for the record, member Garcia, right? Yeah, I'm here. Just, <laughs> member Cahill's here, too, even though I'm not on the committee. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thanks, Janelle. On to your yep. report. Sure, absolutely. Um, so right now, from a construction perspective, they're putting in final fixtures on 4 North. Um, and we are we've prepared a draft temporary occupancy letter that would go to the state. Um uh, telling them that they need to then come in and inspect our unit. We're waiting for one more thing, and that's a balancing test on fresh air and return air. Um, so you have to achieve a certain percentage. So they're working on that last piece before we can submit the temporary occupancy. At the same time, um, we're in the process of selecting the, the finish, uh, finishes for the canopy that will be out front um, outside the lobby. So they are starting to get ready to move on that, that portion of the project as well. So that's construction. Okay, any, any questions, questions about the construction for, you know? Uh, yes, number to start. I don't have any questions, but I just wanted to say Janelle gave us a, uh, you were there, mm -hmm. Chair Shortley. Um, Janelle gave us a little tour the day before Valentine's Day, and it looks amazing. I want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it looks amazing. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Very exciting. Uh, and, and again, if anyone would like to come and tour, just reach out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, th thank you, Janelle. I just wanted to say that one of my constituents reached out to me who was in dire need of a place to live. I'm a CPA and he had me as his power of attorney. Um, so it's been a process, but he was uh, recently admitted to the care center. He has no family. He has nobody. Um, and he does have some money. So he's on pay right now but it's just really wonderful. I thank you very much. And I can tell you just from the standpoint of seeing this man so happy to be in an environment, he's a veteran. So he has a whole group of veterans there with him, And it's just absolutely fantastic that we have this jewel in DuPage County. So I just wanted to say thank you, Janelle. Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Uh, member Cronin Cahill, in case you didn't know. She knows me. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'll Any? Be, yeah, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'll be coming in on Thursday. Yeah, play my violin for the residents. That's right. Can't oh, wait. That's great. Yeah. Can't wait. Glad we finally got that set. Thank you. I know. Thank you. And I'll be coming in on Friday to play the harmonica. Oh, I, great. <laughs> I will be well playing well the tambourine. That's cool and unusual punishment. <laughs> <laughs> They love entertainment of all types. <laughs> all right, all right. Janelle, uh, did you have uh, any other information? I don't. Share? That was it for today. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. All right, we're on to our community services update with Mary Keating. 
Greg, is it true that you're going to be the first contributor in the county boards on talent? No, no. I just wanted to give an update on the sort of the next steps on all of the food insecurity work. So um, as I talked about at finance last week, next week we'll be bringing an appropriation for 500000 for uh, a second round of equipment grants. The other thing that we'll be bringing next week um, related to food insecurity is our final extension of the Northern Illinois Food Bank program. So um, there's currently there's 2.6 million available for food insecurity through ARPA interest and the remaining um, well, 1.6 of that is from the original 5 million for food insecurity. Um, and then there was another 1.1 that was uh, that were 1 million that was added from um, ARPA interest. So there's 2.6 million available to kind of close out um, our ARPA related food insecurity work. So we're going to extend the Northern Illinois Food Bank program through June of 2025. Um, we are also making a modification to the agreement to give them flexibility to provide proteins as well as produce, particularly in the summer where a lot of food pantries are getting fresh produce from, um, from folks who garden and donate. Um, so they will be, um, they it will give Northern Illinois Food Bank the opportunity, if they have, they have an opportunity to, um, purchase produce, you know, in large quantities at, re at uh, reasonable prices, they can jump on that um, using our funding. So um, the, uh, and then, so then we'll have 500,000 remaining, um, sort of a TBD, that, that's ARPA interest. So we don't have that same um, uh, lockdown deadline. We have to have everything uh, under contract by September for ARPA, is that right? Really, December. December. So by the end of 2024, everything. Uh, but because it's our interest, we um, we're, we don't have that deadline, so we can kind of um, take a pause and and be very thoughtful about what we want to do with that last remaining. Um, that's that's what I have on there. I want to uh, give a thanks to our seniors unit. Um, they they are working. We're a we're a testing site for the state's new computer system that uh, they've been talking about probably since before I became director of the department, which was 15 years ago. Um, I remember when I when I became director, the state was talking about, oh, they're, you know, we're gonna upgrade our computer system, but it seems like it's actually happening. Um, it's a huge change. It'll be a fully integrated system uh, that includes case management as well as all of the billing. We've been serving as a test site um, for the state. The, um, the first, uh, case coordination units around the state that will that will start the implementation will be the end of March. We're scheduled to be in May, so um, it's uh, it's a lot of work. I know our staff has been you know providing a lot of valuable feedback to the state, so I just want to thank Natasha and her team for that. Work. And that's all I have. Questions for Mary Keating? I think just a quick question. I hope the program's not 15 years old. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, it, oh, it is. is. It is. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it, it is. Older than that. Windows Seven. So, oh, oh, wow. Wow. so, so I guess yeah. the next question is: We have our technology oh, wow. committee. Um, yeah, Here. I'm wondering. We probably need to have some conversation. Well, um, it, it, it's not our system. It's the state system, and we're so in the Department of Community Services. We are dependent on the state and federal government for an, a whole host of databases that we have to use. I think there was one count where we had six or seven separate databases with client information in them, all of which were mandated by um, funding agencies. So we're totally beholden to them. Um, it, it, it creates an enormous challenge, particularly for our information and referral folks who might be putting clients' information into the same systems um, multiple times. So we have had conversations with, um, <laughs> with Anthony um, about looking once again at, at ways that we could potentially have some sort of integration, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big complicated mess, frankly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any questions for Mary? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Do we have any old business? Do we have any new business? Take a moment to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Everybody.